So we're here in Dome F at the Observatory Science Centre. This is the story of the Royal Greenwich Observatory. And behind me is the 38-inch Congo Schmidt Telescope. So, this is the largest and newest of the Hurstman Zoo telescopes. What happened, it was destined for the Belgian Congo. It was going to go to an observatory in Elizabethville, uh, former Belgian Congo, but unfortunately, civil war broke out there before it was actually installed. So it just languished for a little bit. Before 1972, the Royal Greenwich Observatory purchased it because they wanted a wide angle camera on site. The telescope was actually built in 1960 and it was built to be very versatile. It was to be an ordinary reflecting telescope with prime, cassegrain or coude focus or it could be a Schmidt camera, F3, which means it gives a wide angle view and very sharp images. During the early 70s, lots of tests were being carried out with this telescope and unfortunately they found the optics were flawed. There was slight warping in the glass and this was, they found stresses in the glass itself inside and this was probably due to imperfect heating uh, when the um, mirror was cast as a blank. So just to give a little bit of background on the blank, what do I mean? Well that is uh, the uh, pyrex that is cast before it's aluminized. So they grind it all down so that it's actually perfectly shaped for what they wanted to use the telescope for. The distortions only amounted to a few thousandths of a millimeter, but this unfortunately rendered it not suitable at all for astronomical research. They just couldn't use it. Um, and there was no funding to remedy the situation. So unfortunately, it has never ever been used in earnest or as serious astronomy work at all. The telescope was installed on a single pier equatorial mount. So equatorial means it works parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation, which is very good for um, photography work or taking astrophotography, astro images. Um, it's got a 38 inch mirror at the very bottom of the telescope. At the very other end of the telescope, it has got a corrector plate, and then about halfway up, it's got a photographic plate. Now, the corrector plate uh, gives it sharp images over this wide field, and that's where the Schmidt comes from, because this arrangement is actually called the Schmidt camera. So, hence, Congo Schmidt telescope. There isn't actually an awful lot more to say about this telescope because there was no research done. So I can't wax lyrical about what it found out about all sorts of different things, which is unfortunate. But what it does is make a fabulous backdrop to a fantastic exhibition about the story of the Royal Greenwich Observatory. We've also got in this exhibition a beautiful orrery and the orrery is works on 52 brass gears and shows the solar system and the movement of the planets and our moon around the sun. So it's well worth a look. So, the next time you're at Hersman Zoo, come along to Dome F and you will see that wonderful telescope, the 38 inch Congo Schmidt. You'll also find the orrery and you'll also find one or two other exhibitions about astronomy too. It's well worth a visit when you get here. <laughs>